All right, Hannah, when you're ready. Picture this. You stayed up until 3 a.m. watching your favorite Netflix series. You had to be up early, and now you're exhausted. What can you do? Make yourself a nice coffee from the comforts of your own home. Who doesn't love a delicious drink dressed in their coziest pair of pajamas? Now that's an offer I couldn't refuse. Iced coffee not only wakes you up, but has an endless amount of personalization options too. Step one, by preparing your supplies, your, step one, prepare by getting your supplies ready. This is important so you don't forget anything. Step two, create a base. Step three, add your favorites to the base. And step four, taste test and adjust to ensure the perfect drink. Overall, making your own iced coffee not only gives you energy to face the day, but also a sense of accomplishment. Your first step will be getting your supplies around. This varies depending on what you like in your coffee, but it typically includes cups, ice, coffee, something to mix with, and any additives like caramel, milk, or creamer. Now that you've got your supplies ready, you're ready to begin your first physical step, creating a base. So what this looks like is taking your cup, and in the video, I lined it with caramel syrup, that's totally optional. You're gonna wanna add a sufficient amount of ice, and then a good amount of coffee. This is gonna vary also depending on how much of a coffee flavor you like, whether it's stock cold brew, Starbucks, or even instant coffee. And now that you've got your base, you're ready to personalize your drink. In a separate bowl, you're going to want to combine your chosen ingredients. For me, this was almond milk, caramel syrup, and whipping cream. You're going to take whatever you're using to mix, whether it's a fork, a whisk, or a frother, and mix it until it's a frothy consistency. After that, you're gonna add it to the base that you previously made, and then make sure you mix it thoroughly so when you take that first sip, you get a combination of all the yummy flavors. And after you've made your drink, you're ready to move on to the best part, taste testing. This is where you can taste your drink and adjust it to your liking, whether it's too sweet, too strong, or vice versa. So as you can see, making your own iced coffee gives you energy to face the day and a sense of accomplishment. First, by preparing, you're guaranteeing a successful at attempt at a yummy drink. By creating a base, you're allowing room for personalization, and adding your own touch is a great way to show creativity. After making it, you can sit down and enjoy from the comforts of your own home. Robert Brault once said, one key to success is to have lunch at the time of day most people are having breakfast, but I think coffee works too.